Welcome to the first video of 2024 and it's a morph transition. Let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how we do this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get whatever shape or whatever you want to use. So I did like a blob for mine. So we'll just go in and pick out a blob. Um, I think I use something like this one. You know what? Let's just use the starry one. We're just going to use that one. Oh, I'm going to delete this one. So what I want to do now is I want to change my blob to white and my background to black. Maybe black. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to go over to file. I have this in video. You can also do it in presentation. You can do however you want to. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to go up here and change this to a PNG and I'm going to download it. So what I'm going to do after that, I am going to head over to remove BG and then I am going to upload my image. And the reason I'm using this is because I'm on the free account and there is a new app in there to remove backgrounds, but I'm not technically removing the background for this. See, I remove the background. I don't want to do that. I want to restore the background. So let's go and take our little green thing and make sure we restore everything in here. And come on. I should have made my little thing bigger, shouldn't I? It would have been quicker. All right, we want it all back restored. And then once that is restored, what I want to do now, come on, baby, come on to your little magic. Oh, it's early in the morning. It must be tired. All right, something went, went, went wrong. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's try the ears. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to restore the background. I want to restore it. Dun, 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 dun. And that's just kind of sloppy. So let's get the rest of it back in here. Plus, you can always just cut this part out if you don't need it because you just need the center part. So I don't come on. Remove, remove BGs being mean this morning, y'all. Okay, so let's try one more time. Try to get that restored. Otherwise, I'm just going to cut it out when I bring it over. I'm just going to cut it out when I come over. So I'm going to go to erase and I want to erase the white in the center. We're going to get this and make sure we get the little blobby in the middle. And there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and download that and bring it back over to Canva. Now I want to do is come up into my downloads and bring this in. And now I have a mask. So what I want to do is I'm going to shorten this up to my size. And let me change the background real quick so you can see. Oops. Let's do this. Come on, give me my colors. I want my colors. Let's do a little purple. So now I have my mask. So the other thing you want to make your mask in, you want to make your mask with whatever color you're going to use your background, but I'm going to just use black for this just to make it easy. And then all you have to do is go in and get your photo. Well, so we're just going to pick a photo. Let's do race car. I want to attach this to the background. And then what I'm going to do with this is because I want to expand it and move it all across the screen. So if I do that, I'm going to have to do some really crazy stuff to make it fit. So I want to do that. But see if you see the outside right here, if you're, I start moving it from here to here to here to here to here, then I want to start having pick, excuse me, parts of the picture. So to elite eliminate that what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make my mask smaller like so and put it down in the center and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to elements and then I'm going to go and get some squares and I'm just going to thicken this thing up I'm going to like thicken thicken it up that way it gives me more room to do what I need when I need to be moving it around so I'm just going to thicken it up I'm going to grab that, duplicate it, and just put it around the whole outside here. Duplicate. And make that long. Make sure there's no, like, and then 
now that I have that the way I want it, I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to group them together. And now I want to change them all to black, black, change all. And now I have what I can move around. So now that I have it moved where I can move around, I'm going to delete this first frame because, of course, I don't want it anymore. And then I'm going to make this really, really small down here so I can play around and move. So I'm going to go like up here and have my first little pick a boo. Yeah, we'll call it a pick a boo. Pick, pick a boo. And then I want to delete it and then I can enlarge it. I can make it. See, this is why you would want to have, make sure, so test drive where you want to go to see how much of a outside you want to have, because this is what's going to happen when you go sideways or whatever, whatever if you're going to go. So I'm going to make that bigger and put it out here, and then I can go and duplicate my page. I think it's great. I can twist it and then move it around here. And make it bigger and if you need more play space make bigger squares on the outside but pretty much that's how you do it so here is another cheat way if you're going to use just a plain shape so if you want to use a plain shape i am going to put this to white background so we can do it so let's say i want to just use a square and bounce that around so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a border weight on that square and then i'm going to make them center part transparent and then what you want to do is then Make this the background color. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Did it wrong? No. All right, hold on. I want the background color transparent. What in the world is this little thing doing to me here? Oh, border weight. And then what I want to do is when I stick my photos back there, do, 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 do. I want to stick a photo back there. Let's, let's do this one. I can go and I can save this as a background image and then do, do the exact same thing with the other one. So if I don't want to go outside to make a mask, if I need to, I can just do this. And just make a mask this way. And then we're we'll going to duplicate that. Let's make it bigger. Duplicate that. Bring it over here. Duplicate, bring it up here. Duplicate, bring it down here. Make them all black, change them all. Group them, and now you have one you can float around easily without making going outside or doing a background remover but like i said just make sure you kind of test drive it and then move your squares or whatever to cover what you need to cover and same with the match and move we're going to go in here put our match and move in apply between all pages and we're going to make these up one 0.5 which probably will give me like 1.9 of course and we'll play these and it'll go and then that'll go into your square and that's just how you do that and that's 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 how you do that that simple and thank you for stopping by and this is a cool little morph effect you can do in your presentations or your videos thank you very much see you on the next one bye y'all